Thursday afternoon with David Fortune on Radio West Fife. Thursday afternoon on Radio West Fife. It's just gone ten past one. As I mentioned earlier, Lindsay Adams from the Lime Kilns and Charlestown's Floral Display Group would be on the line for a wee chat. Good afternoon, Lindsay. How are you doing? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. Thank you for uh, getting in touch with Radio West Fife about what you're up to. First of all, can I ask you about the Floral Display Group? It's a, a relatively new group. How did it all get started? It is a new group. Um, we started up in October 2011. Uh, three of our residents in Lime Kilns came to the community council and suggested they would like to brighten up the village, um, well, the village is, and do some floral displays, and it kind of snowballed from there. That sounds brilliant. I mean, it always looks good when you go somewhere in the summer and uh, everything's nice and bright and colourful. Who can all become involved in the group? Well, we have a, a committee of between eight to ten people and we kind of decide the, and think about what we're doing in the area, but anybody can be involved. We've got the school involved, the brownies helped last year with planting, the scouts are helping, or just Joe Bloggs, anybody who lives in the village. There's a lot of villagers support the project um, financially or with their time. Well, that, that's brilliant stuff. I mean, keep us up to date with uh, what you're doing, anything new, get in touch. Today you're on Radio West Fife to talk about the beach clean this weekend. What areas are you going to cover? That's a project that one of our um, committee members took on board and we all decided to support her and look at cleaning the beach from the old Recife churchyard, which, which is a ruin, in fact, at the far end of Lime Kilns. People that walk will, will know it well, all the way along to Charleston, where we caught the sailing club that is based at Lime Kilns. Wow, that's uh, some uh, lay of land there. How long do you think it's going to take you to clean all of that? How long is a piece of string? We've <laughs> no <laughs> idea, but um, we will certainly be there for a good four hours and hopefully people can drop in and out. and You don't have to come for the entire duration. M- my mum and dad are coming for half an hour and doing a litter pick on one of the stretches. Well, I suppose every little bit helps. I mean, I did something like this years ago in uh, the Took area of Dunfermline, and it was actually really, really good fun. We had our, the weather on our side, and we, you know, we had good banter with everybody. So why do you, as volunteers, feel you have to take on this role? Because we love our village, and we're proud of where we come from. Um, we want it to look beautiful, stay beautiful, and just clear up the mess that's, that come on the beach. And it's going to happen, because the tide will sweep it in. Mm-hmm. and not take it all away so we're hoping to recycle a lot of the things that we collect and we'll have clear bags for the plastics and cans etc that can be recycled um, on site in lime kilns mm-hmm. and then some of the stuff sadly will go to landfill but we, we just want it to clean it up so how many volunteers have you got lined up already i have no idea <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we've got sign up sheets in the local shop um, and names have been going down on those and the word's been spread through the school, they've emailed out all the, the parent forum and pupils there. We've contacted the other youth groups, the church, it will be going out in the intimations on Sunday. Well, it went out, sorry, last Sunday. I do not know, but hopefully a lot of people. We normally have a great turnout. I mean, it sounds like an amazing project where the whole community are coming together. Have you, have you actually done anything like this before, Lindsay? Our floral group hasn't, but our village has, yes. Two years ago, we, we did a beach clean and... I've lived in the village all my life and it is something that has regularly happened. On an ad hoc basis, it doesn't happen every year, but um, no, it is something we like to get involved in. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Why do you think people are so irresponsible with their litter? I think probably it's not understanding the consequences of dropping a can, dropping a bottle. I would guess that probably, like most things, it's perhaps ignorance rather than wanton vandalism. Uh, Yeah, and I reckon a wee touch of uh, laziness as well. Quite possibly. I would imagine if you weren't uh, actually doing this, it would take up a lot of council resources. In in financial terms, how much money does littering and illegal dumping cost the country every year? I believe it's up to £50 million a year that could be spent on other services. And certainly we work hand in hand with our environmental guys at Fife Council. They're good and we've had a lot of involvement and help and support from them. But ultimately and increasingly because of budget restraints, our neighbourhoods are going to come down to us, you know, the residents and whether we want to keep the place clean. You've got to keep Scotland Beautiful on board. We have. Um, how, how do people get in touch with them if uh, they want to organise a project of their own? Well, Keep Scotland Beautiful have an excellent website and they run this National Spring Clean campaign um, on an annual basis but I would suggest that they contact the website um, Keep Scotland Beautiful you can google it or any other uh, internet yeah, just have, have a wee rummage engine. about online 
certainly. Well, Lindsay, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today at Radio West Fife and all the best for the weekend. Not at all, and I hope that some of your listeners will come down and join us. Yep, fingers crossed. We'll be the guys in the yellow jackets, the <laughs> flipper pickers. Unmissable. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.